Hi, ladies. How are you? How is everyone? I just made myself a cup of coffee. And I'm going to try and clean up my desk. So tell me how you guys are doing. I'm just going to minimize my, my stuff. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Carla. How are you guys? I am telling you, I am beat. It has been a long day, and it's not even <laughs> your puppy sleeping. Oh, hi, Carrie. Your puppy's so cute. Well, I made myself a cup of coffee so that I could, and I wasn't even sure what we're going to make today. I, you know, I've had my company, which I'm enjoying my company tremendously. But you know as well as I do that when you have company, it's just your time's not your own. Even if, even with the best of intentions, right? So I got up this morning and took a really long hike with my company. And hi, hi Alta, hi Fran, hi Linda, hi Joyce. So I took a long, a long walk with my company, and we went on the long hike. And I have to tell you. You know, you know, it's like it's stuff that you don't do until people come to visit you, right? So I just made myself a cup of coffee. I have some entries on my table. I have some feathers on my table, some paper feathers. I have some magazines. Maybe we can make magazine embellishments. I don't know. What do you guys want to make? Hi, Vicky. Yes. Hi, Liliana. How are you? So I'm just a little burned out, girls. I'm telling you, I'm a little tired today. And it was like, I made myself some coffee. Oh, look at this cool new um, tab punch I got. I'm super excited about it. It's a Stampin' Up! tab punch. It's not brand new. Somebody, I got it used, but I'm really liking it. I know, just made myself some coffee. Girls, I was fading, okay? I had to pick my daughter up from school and um, just, I'm just fading. And I love having my friend here, but I'm a little bit grateful that she's decided she was gonna um, she was gonna go to the bookstore, which is on the other side of the island, and do some stuff. And so I dropped her off, and then I came home because I was not after. I guess we hiked for like three hours after a three hour hike. Hi, Scotty. After a three hour hike, I was just burned out. You guys, I'm like tired. So, I have a bunch of stuff on my crafty table. I have not really been crafting, obviously, because I've had this company. Anyway, look at my cool new my cool new punch. Hi, Kathy. My cool new punch. And I punched out some of those. Remember we made painty papers on paper bags that day? Well, this is one of the painty papers from it. And I think it's going to be a really cool tab in a journal. I'm super excited. Hi, Miss Grizzle. Hi, Ash. Hi, Crafty. Anyway, how has everybody weathered the storm? I've been so worried about you guys. You know, it's just, it's too much, right? It's like really too much. The whole Houston and now Louisiana. I mean, now Florida and then all the things in between. Hi, Patricia. So I got my coffee. I got some inches on my table. I got some... Oh, you know what? I want to show you guys. Let me get it. I got it in the mail yesterday. I don't know who sent it to me. One of you girls have to tell me who sent it to me. Hi, Cheryl. It's your first time. Well, welcome. You got me in a little tired bit of a moment, but uh, let me get you guys hang out for a sec. Um, I don't know what we're going to do. You guys can take a vote. We can do paper clip embellishments. We can make serendipity paper. We can make feathers. We can make paper beads. You girls can vote. I'm giving you the vote because I use all the stuff. The eye of the storm is really close to where you live. Oh my gosh, yes. Thank goodness nothing happened. Hi, Nelda. Welcome. We're happy you're here. Welcome to all of you first timers. Welcome to Chat and Craft. And usually I'm really prepared, but for those of you that are new to me, I have a house guest, and I'm not prepared today. In fact, I almost bagged. I almost said, you know what, I'm just burned out. But you know what, I can't do that because I know how much I look forward to hanging out with you guys. And I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. So, 
Um, let me go get you guys what uh, somebody in who sent this to me in the mail. I'm like so shocked. Um, Vicky and VA Pearl vote paper beads. Look at these cool paper beads that I made out of. Um, these are so easy making paper beads. You know me. I gotta make them out of. I gotta make them out of book pages because my life just can't be any better than that. You know, I gotta make them out of book pages. But I made a whole bunch of different ones, different sizes, different ones, because they were just scraps of my book pages. They weren't like. But I made all these out of um, jelly printed book pages, and I think they're kind of cool. I mean, they're just like the black and white parts of your book pages. Some of them might have been magazines. I can. These look like they were magazines. I use all of the, because somebody's going to inevitably ask me what I use all this for. I use all of it in my art journaling. I use all of it and oh, Mary, you're welcome. You know, I'm just burned out. It's like, you know how it always seems like it's a really good idea to have company and then when you have them, you're just like, what was I thinking? Why did I say that? And and she's nothing. She's so easy to be with. It's just me. All right, I'm going to go get one thing. Everybody get your cup of coffee. So I have two votes for paper beads. I have one vote. Hi, Lori. I have two votes for paper beads, one vote for paper clip embellishments. You guys, can somebody take a poll? Whoever's paying the best attention, take a poll. It's snowing? Where is it snowing? Carrie, I would love to make some homemade washi tape. I can't do it today, but I can certainly do it another day. Because I'm... Um, I make my homemade washi tape. If you guys want to make homemade washi tape, I make it out of a couple things. I don't have any in, in front of me here. Um, I make it out of carpet tape. If you can, you can get a really cheap roll of double stick carpet tape. I like that. Um, I got. Um, I make it out of masking tape. I use wax paper. So you can, and I also use painty papers, fabric. I mean, they're fun, you know. So if we're going to make paper clip embellishments, they're only going to be made out of magazine pages because that's all I have in front of me. I don't have anything else. So, um, or they could be made out of painting papers, I guess. And so I've gotten four, so we've gotten four votes for paper clips, four votes for paper clips, and three for paper beads. You have masking tape? Well, I don't have anything in front of me. I mean... But we can definitely make it. You know what? Maybe we'll do that on Friday, okay? We'll make homemade washi tape or um, journaling borders. But let me go get this. I didn't I didn't think about it. Give me one second. You guys keep voting, and then I'll be back in a second. I need to get my not Rambo knife. And we can, we can, make, a we can make a bunch of stuff. Give me a sec. Okay, look what I got in the mail, and I don't know who it's from, unless they're from the, my very own Shannon Green herself. She wrote me a note in it, but I assumed it was from one of you guys. I assumed it was from one of you guys. If you guys want to make paper clip embellishments, get some cardboard. Well, maybe we'll make a little of both, okay? So if you guys don't know by now, one of my very favorite people on the planet as a crafter is Miss Shannon Green. And for those of you that are not, haven't gone over to, hi Brenda, haven't gone over to her channel. Um, hi Frida. Haven't gone over to her channel. Um, go over and watch her. She's amazing. And right now she, hi Fee. Right now, she is selling her, she calls them her custom keepers. Well, I got this in the mail. 
And I assumed it was from somebody that I had mentioned, oh, I want to buy one of those, and I hadn't done it yet. And I got two of them in the mail, you guys. Aren't they cool? She's made them out of billboards. So she um, fused billboards, two pieces of billboard vinyl together. And then she made this really cool, you know, like a, and then she shows you how to tie them, right? How to tie them so you can retie them. But she made these. Aren't they cool? So I got a really big one, so I'm excited. And I kind of like it, the fact that it's like a button down part of a shirt. It was good. I think she probably... Hi, Dawn! Um... Dawn, was that a typo or was that something that said a new word? And then she sent me this one. So I don't know if you guys, one of you guys sent these to me. Thank you. If it was Miss Shannon Green herself, I'm overwhelmed and overjoyed. But I love them, and I can't wait to work on them. I know I saw the video where she paints hers, but I kind of like the randomness of mine. Mine has like a man and a tree and another man. It looks like, looks like a man with a machine gun or something. It's like a, from a movie. But I love it, and I'm excited. I'm going to start using them. Hi, Sherry. It was a typo. Dawn, you know, sometimes, hi, Kim. I hope, uh, sometimes the autocorrect is not my friend. So she wrote me a note and it just said, Hi, Shelly, I thought you might like to play with these. Love, Shannon. Heart Shannon. So I didn't know that she meant this, that I'd like to play with these extra bits, or if <laughs> she meant these. So thank you, Shannon Green, and thank you to whoever bought them for me. I'm so grateful. Show the note. Hi, Shelly, I thought you might like to play with these. Heart Shannon. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Well, one of you guys ordered them and sent them to me, so I'm grateful. Hi, Nancy. So, anyway, I'm excited. Thank you. I'm going to use my custom keeper and my custom keepers, and I'm going to. Um, I don't know. I'm going to use them as a journal. So if you guys head on over to Shannon Green's channel, check out her Etsy shop. Um, she's a, a crafting artist that I love and would love to support and see everyone support. So what did we vote on? Are we making, are we making paperclip embellishments? Are we making, um, guys, I need my hole punch. I have this one, but I don't think it works good enough. Um, are we making paper clip embellishments to begin or paper beads? We can do a little bit of both. Maybe they are from Shannon. Whatever, I'm grateful. I mean, I'm grateful. Whoever bought them for me, if it wasn't Shannon, I'm grateful. If it was Shannon, I'm grateful. You guys go on over and show her some love. She's a really awesome crafter, and she's got a lot of really fun things going on. And all right, so if we're going to do paper clip embellishments, you guys, I don't make normal ones, okay? So I don't want you guys to all be in, in, in a bad mood about it because it's not, because I don't make like the regular ones everybody else makes. Mine are like a little bit weird. So if you guys are game for my weirdness, we can have at it. So you need some sort of cereal box. I'm going to use a pasta box. You need some sort of cardboard. You don't have to have it, but I like it. And you need a magazine, Okay. And I don't have any in front of me that I make all the time, but I will make, I make them out of everything. Okay, guys, I don't hold anything back. Like, I'll make paper clip embellishments out of tabs that I've punched. I'll make them out of, um, I'll go through and uh, paint some papers inside of a mat, uh, a book, and I use that. Um, here's a couple of things that were going to be for, that one was going to be a paper clip embellishment. Usually I make them out of eyeballs, and the odder the better. Okay, that's just how I roll. You know me. I gotta be a little bit weird. Hi, Sally Ann. Hi, Jen. Hi, Kiki. Will somebody go post in the face? Hey, Ash, will you go post over in Crafting Mamas? Will you go over and post in our Facebook group um, under where I said I was gonna live stream? Will you post the link? I, I don't know how to do it anymore. They've changed. Um, they've changed the the whole thing for YouTube and it doesn't, I don't know how to do it. I haven't, I haven't tutorialed myself enough to know. Hi, Cassandra. 
So I just want you guys to know I've been sending you lots of prayers and blessings and everything that I can think of in a positive way for all of you who've been going through this storm. I know it really makes me personally look at my life and go, i got to get down to what's important and not waste my time doing things that I don't want to do. So that's what I'm doing. So I use these and I make paper clip. There was one here, you guys. So I make these blanks and you can use any sort of circle punch or you could use a square punch or you could cut it freehand. And I put like a paper clip on the back of it so it ends up being like a hidden paper clip on your piece. So say you were gonna glue, let's say, hmm, I don't know, because I haven't cut anything out yet. Obviously you'd need a bigger, a bigger circle, I mean a smaller circle, but say you were going to, Guys, I don't know. See, I use the backs of them as blanks. So that's what I'm doing with this first. I'm going to cut up a couple of pasta boxes and use the cardboard and cut some circles out of it. And so, and I make these blanks. I have them every, I have them in all various sizes of circles. Because you don't ever know how big you want your your clip to be, you know, but I do it so that I have the blanks already pre-made, okay, and as you can tell, I didn't do it today. So I like to use, I have all different side circle punches, you don't need a circle punch, but this one's a one and a quarter, you might want to do a one inch, I don't know if this one's going to go through it, because I have every kind of punch, every kind of punch, every kind of thing, I don't know if it's going to go through this cardboard, it may not, it may not, it may be too thick for this little one. No, the volcano that's erupting, Patricia, is not near me, but thank you for asking. There's no live volcano on my island, you guys. That's on the island, of, that's on the big island, the island that's also called Hawaii, or if you live in Hawaii, we call it the big island, and it's been active for a long time. So, well, this circle punch isn't going to really work very well, but I guess I could try one more time. I'll try on one of these. I think this might be a little thinner. So if not, I'll have to make my one and a quarter inch punch. All right. You guys, it's time for me to sharpen my punches. They aren't working. They are not working. All right. So I'm going to have to do it bigger, guys, which will just mean you can't do small which means you just will have large blanks and not small blanks for your... Now you can do squares if you wanted to. You can use anything you want as far as like a shape goes. I just usually do it so it hides whatever I'm making. Or I make circles. I mean, I like circles. I saw your video, Dawn, of your pup, or your, your picture of your pup. Did you guys all fare okay? I saw some pictures of some people that have just like water everywhere. So. Hi all you lurkers, say hi. Say hey, we see you out there. Say hi. Say hello. You'll have, is all the electricity out? Is that what happened? You don't have power either? Oh, no. You know, it really makes you realize how dependent we all are on everything. You know, it's like, it's not, it's not a good feeling to not be able to, uh, you know, have the things that you, just the, what we consider bare necessities, right? But I guess if no big damage happened, that's better than anything. So what I do, guys, first is if I'm going to make blanks, and you don't have to make blanks, but I like to um, make blanks for my whatever I'm going to make. I also glue my stuff directly on here, too. So I just have to decide what I'm going to make. And I save all these little pieces of cardboard just for the paperclip part, for the paperclip embellishment thing. I don't usually save them for anything else, but they make really good. Um, you could also use them on the back of your inchies. Like I could cut out a few for inches. Those could be paper clip embellish could be paper clip embellishments too. Okay. I'm gonna have a sip of my coffee. 
It's your mom's dog? Aww. She was so happy to see Leah. Aww. Hi, Andy. You're from Omaha? Well, welcome. So, somebody's going to ask me, and I don't have anything in front of me. I don't even have a journal with one in it. You guys, this is like not my journaling. Somebody doesn't ask me what you do with paper clip embellishment. So you can use them in your planners. You can use them on any type of thing that you want. It doesn't have to be, um, you know, it doesn't have to be specifically for uh, a, plan, uh, a journal, but you can use them on, and you can use any size paper clip. I like big ones and small ones. I like, I don't have a preference. And I've also made paper clip embellishments for, for the back of, uh, for the back of envelopes too sometimes. Oh look, see, I've cut a bunch of circles in here. See, in anticipation of making some paper clips. I cut some in here too, so I have them in various sizes. Nice to meet you. We're happy, all, all of you first timers, we're happy that you're here. We are so happy you're here. Oh my gosh, Leah, the dog was sitting on your face. You know, she was probably scared too. She was a scared baby too. Okay, you do need some glue. Now, let me just show you guys. Let me see. I can make a couple out of... I like to use everything. I'm a little bit of a... Definitely a trash picker, you guys. I like to use the... The trashy stuff. Right here is a book page. I just need to, um, if I'm going to make one out of that, um, if I'm going to make one out of this, it needs just to have a little thicker, needs to have a little thicker, uh, inside. I need to glue a couple pieces together. And you figure the reason I may try to make mine a little bit more sturdy than, than maybe, the average thing is, is because it's something you're going to touch all the time, right? You're going to pick it up in and out of your journal, and you're going to reach it with your, touch it with your fingers, that sort of thing. So, what are you guys writing? Hi, Edna! Hi, Mildred! Hi, Ken! So, tell me what you guys have been working on. i got to grab some glue. Tell me what you've been working on. I want to hear about what's going on, what you've been working on. It's best to use uh, wet glue or to glue the paper clip on the inside. I might find some cool stuff in here too. Let me just look through this. This is a, just a Reader's Digest that I took apart because I was using the cover for a journal. But sometimes they have just like little tidbits in here. Who's having chocolate chip cookies? I missed the whole thing. Somebody's having chocolate chip cookies? You know, these are great if you guys have done any painty papers and you want to make some really neat ones out of your painty papers. It's a, it's a fun thing, too. I was just looking to see what I had in here, see if there was anything. See if there was anything worth worth making a paper clip embellishment out of. Sometimes in these old Reader's Digests, I mean, that's a little bit big, but it would be good as a journal embellishment. Um, I think, Dawn, I think they voted on paper clip embellishments, but we can also do paper beads. Half voted on paper clip embellishments and half voted on paper beads. So I'm going to start with a couple of paper clip embellishments and then we can move on to paper beads. Now save your book pages, you guys. I love my book pages. I love them. I use them for all sorts of stuff. Don, to tell you the truth, I was a little more now. I went on this lengthy hike with my friend that was visiting, and I'm exhausted. Has anybody ever had that happen? It always seems like a really great idea, and then you get up to go for it, and it's just like, you're just like thinking, what are you doing? Okay, nothing jumped out at me, so it's okay. I have plenty of book pages right here on the floor. So I can make one of these. I have this one to make, which is a tab. 
I can make an inchy one. I could make an inchy paper clip embellishment, but I just need the other side of an inchy. So I just need to cut out another square. And we can get started. So if you guys have never made inchies, they're really fun. They're just little tiny pieces of artwork, one inch by one inch square. Okay, and you don't have to have, they don't have to be for any purpose. So I know everybody likes to think that their artwork has to have a purpose, but it doesn't. So I just like to back my things with uh, the inchy itself was made on paper and then must have glued it or collaged a piece of serendipity paper on top of a piece of cardboard and then cut it out. So the back is just going to be an equal piece like that. Let me grab my glue. What are you girls saying? Bye, MB. See you again. If you haven't joined our Facebook group, come on over. Crafting Mamas, it's fun. But today we're about... Bye, Mary Beth. See you, see you again. Um, and just, I don't... I can crochet, but I don't do any of that for one of these live streams. All I do is usually do paper crafting or paint. Sometimes some jewelry. So, has anybody made any entries besides me? Does anybody enjoy making entries? I enjoy making inchies. You've made the blanks, Frida, but you haven't decorated them. Hi, Dee. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. Steal, borrow his room. It sounds like great. You're making them, Kathy? Awesome, awesome. You make fabric inches, Fee? I love inches. So Sherry's asking, what is an easier way to cut chipboard without a paper cutter and a no scoreboard? Just scissors. You know, I didn't, I had just got a scoreboard not that long ago. I didn't have one. I'm just going to grab some wet glue, okay? I just, I, I never had a scoreboard, so I just recently got one. Um... I can't tell you, you know, in all honesty, I don't, I don't, um, I just cut everything fussy, cut it with scissors. Is that terrible? So I'm just going to put some glue. I don't think it'll come out of the bottle, but we'll see. You make polymer clay and cheese, Cassandra? Oh, but ew, they're beautiful. I bet that's a picture that's awesome. Twinchies are probably easier for me to see because my eyesight's not so great, you know, but yeah, you can make magnets. You can use them for charms. I've made inches into earrings. Have you guys ever done that? That's always a fun thing, especially if you've done hand-painted paper. Kim says the minute she, her son moved out, she made her, his room into a craft room. Hey, I think that's awesome. Yeah, Fee, I, I think you'll be, I, I agree. I agree with Ann. It won't, it won't be long until we ride his rain. How's your arm, rant, Ann? How's your wrist? Okay, <clears throat> I'll show you guys my paper clip. You guys know my paper clip trick, but I'll show you again anyway. Especially if I'm going to uh, put it behind. I don't know if I have any big paper clips. Let me see. How many of you guys are still working on your power pack? I haven't worked on mine in a few weeks, but... I made a bunch of painting papers that I want to add to it. See, I make all these blanks all the time. I'm thinking I might put this. I don't know if this inchy. Let's see how big down. It's going to sit that far down on the page. I may do this big paper clip instead of a small one. So what I do for my inchies is I decide where I'm going to. Usually it's closer to the top of the, of the clip. And I just score it down at least, I leave at least an eighth to a quarter of an inch. You want to do it on a self-healing mat? Mine's like a, like a not necessarily a fabulous, uh, mine's a, uh, a, a used packaging box with some paper over it. 
Okay, so that's all I do is I make a slit and then I put the paper clip inside. Can you guys see? Can I zoom? Oh, Nancy, I don't know. Can I tell you? Hold on. I, can I tell you this camera that I have? It doesn't always do it, and it definitely doesn't do it when it comes to YouTube. And I've had some zoom issues. I ordered a new camera, but it hasn't come in. So I can't tell you if it's going to work or not. Let me just see. But then it jumps, so let me see how close I can get it. <coughs> Alright, let me take the autocorrect off and let's see how this works. Is that better? You're collecting magazine clippings for your power pack? Cassandra, I have like so many, I just haven't had a chance to work on anything. Is that better? Is that better? I don't know if that's... Okay. Okay, good. Now, if it, if it suddenly falls out of focus, you guys will understand why I ordered myself a new camera. Okay, so all I did was I put a slit, for those of you that couldn't see it, I'll, I'll pull my paper clip out and show you. It's nothing. You don't need a Rambo knife, although you know I, you know me and my Rambo knife. I love that Rambo knife. Gotta have the Rambo knife. Um, can you see the slit? I'll do it again on something else instead of trying to take this one apart. So now all I'm going to do is glue it on. Now you want to be liberal with your glue. You want to be liberal with your glue. This is a dried wipe. You want to be liberal with your glue. And I don't usually glue the art side. I usually glue the other side and then put the art side onto it. Now, if you're using thin, super thin paper, you're going to want, when you're going to couch your, your paper clips on the inside, when you're going to make them so you don't see them, you are going to um, want to have something more sturdy than just paper because they won't hold up. And this is as simple as it gets, you guys. And it doesn't matter which direction when you do them like an inch, one, one inch by one inch square. I cut the back side just a tiny bit smaller. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my extra paper clips, my smaller ones, and I'm just going to anchor it down so that it doesn't move till it dries. It's as easy as it gets. And this is made from uh, serendipity paper. Wait, hang on. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take it apart just one more time. I'm going to cut it off a little bit. It's a little bit too... You can see the the ends. Not that it matters. That's just my perfectionist nature happening. Okay. I'm gonna add a little glue to the other side. It's kind of thick. The cardboard I must have used was thicker. The key is to let them dry. That's the key. Now, and if you have any of that dimensional glaze, diamond glaze, or stickles, or clear fingernail polish, that always makes a really nice. Um, extra coating on top. And I'm just going to let these, I'm going to let them dry. I'm just going to clip it together so it holds it down and just let it dry. That's as easy as it gets. Those are super easy paper clips. Now you can make fancier ones. If you have punches, use your punches. Sorry, I got glue all over my hands. What are you guys saying? Hey, Amberly. Hey, Jean. Um, So with this one, I would go ahead and use my blank that I have already made, and I know I have one right here, and I would just go ahead and glue it on. Just decide if you want it up high or down low, right? And then this one I would definitely use some dimensional glaze on, but before I do any of it, I might, or some fingernail polish, I might go ahead and glue the sides back down, just to, to make sure. Of course, I, of course I get the glue stick that has no glue in it. It's just how it works for me. 
Yeah, everybody. Hi, Amberly. Everybody, to shout out where you're from, especially because we have so many new time new timers here, first timers, new first timers, newbies here. Thank you for joining us, and all of you lurkers out there, say hey. So please just shout out where you're from. We always like it when everybody finds their crafty best friend. Oh, Frida, I'm happy for you. I'm so happy for you. You know, it's been a rough couple weeks for everyone. I mean, even though we're not all, you know, living in a in a storm area, it's been rough for a lot of people. So let's see. Clarksville, Tennessee, Hannibal, Missouri, Chicago, Illinois in the house, New Zealand, Las Vegas, Nevada, Sydney, Australia. Southwest Missouri, Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, Taylorsville, Kentucky, Texas, California, well, I live in Hawaii, for those of you that are new, I live in Maui, Hawaii, Tennessee, awesome. I'm just painting away my, putting some glue on my paint, on my blank that I made. New York, New York, Baldwin, Missouri, Walnut Grove, Alabama. How's your new grandbaby, Jen? Scotty, you live in Arkansas, yeah? Chatham, Ontario, Canada. You're just in time for roll call. Lakeland, Florida. Oh, Carla, how are you? I missed your stream today. I have a house guest and I went, took her um, hiking, so I missed your live stream. Eastwood, it, we lit like the Eastwood area. Okay, well, we're happy you're here and I'm happy that everybody, you know, big shout out to all of you Floridians and all of you Texans who managed to weather it through this crazy storm and weather that we're having. You know, sending you guys lots of love, and I hope you get your, I hope for those of you that have had some water damage that you are able to get your crafty room back together. All right, so here's, so now we have two. We have one made with an inchy. Let me clean off my mess, you guys. Have my messy day. Got my coffee, though. That's the most important thing, right? The coffee. I often make paper clip embellishments out of these little envelopes, too. Does anybody make that? Oh, I, you cried emotional overload. Honey, I can't even imagine. You know, I know it, whether stuff like that just makes you so stressed out. You know, it's like, I think I'd be crying too. Now, if you're going to make them out of this, out of uh, envelopes, I most of the time tape mine onto the back. I don't know if I have any tape here close by. But I usually washi tape mine so that they can slip onto a journal page this way. Now you can also do them this way, and if you're going to do them, I would definitely glue a blank on the back, one of the little blanks we make. Sending you hugs, Carla. I can't even imagine. Robinson, Illinois. That's where. Oh, we love you, Carla, and we're glad. I'm so glad you're okay. I was stressed out for you. I was so stressed out for you. I was definitely stressed out for you. I was stressed out for all of you, you know. I was talking to my cousin and she was like just telling me that, you know, they've just had to buck up and they've just counted on just the kindness of strangers to help them through this really rough time. And, you know, they lost, she lost everything. And, you know, I talked to her and she was just, she was good. She was like, I'm hanging in there. She said, I have good moments and I have bad moments. She said, you know, some days I cry and other days I'm good. And, you know, she's just, she's just trying to do her best. It's all anybody can do. But I'm glad everybody's okay. Yeah, you know what? I don't like to watch the news, you guys. I don't really watch it anymore. I don't. I know it probably sounds terrible. But I don't. I try to get... A little bit of whatever I need from something local and then I turn it off because it, it, it really affects me so I'm gonna use some washi tape on the back of my envelope and I'll show you guys 
I use glue too. I would have been so stressed out. You have no idea. I would have been beyond stressed out. You guys held it together. I'm really proud of you all. And you, everybody was so kind and supportive of each other. So I think in our group in Crafting Mamas, we're going to take a, a little poll and see who lost everything in the, in the storm. Because I think some people really did. I've seen some pictures of a few people's craft stashes and craft rooms, and they did lose everything. So this particular washi tape has some sort of plastic stuff on it. Um, it's peel and stick. Don't ask me where I got it. I know somebody's going to ask me. No idea. I had it a really long time. Okay, what I do is I would stick it. Is I would um, put it so that I won't stick out the top of the envelope. And then I would cut another piece off of it so that I could make a partner with it. I can't watch the news, it's just too much. Because I think sometimes the news is meant to put us in panic mode. Okay, see how I covered the paper clip? This is going to be the part that's glued down on the inside. Now, then what I would do is I would take a little wet glue, okay, because it is going to, po it is going to poke up and put it on the tape. Because you guys know washi tape doesn't really stick anyway. And some, I mean, very few. Maybe you guys, maybe one of you guys is lucky enough to have a, some washi tape that actually sticks. Mine doesn't. So, and then I'm just going to glue it to the back. I could cut it, I guess, to make it neat and even. But. And then I'm just going to glue it to the back of my envelope. And that's it. That's how I make my... I'm going to use these as paper clip embellishments. Now you might want to, I mean, nobody's going to really look at the back of it, but you might want to, you've got to let it set up and dry really well. Um, if you had duct tape, it would work better. And then look, you'll be able to stick it. Here, let me find something you can stick it on. Here's one of my power pack cards sitting here. It's one of my power pack cards that I haven't finished working on. But it, see, then you can just stick it on. You can just stick it. And if you wanted to close this, I've always put sometimes a little piece of washi because you can open and close it. Hi, Kayla. How are you? How are you? Hey, Fee, will you do me a favor? Because I don't have my phone here. But will you do me a favor and will you uh, message um, Fat and Susan and just tell, them at, just tell them that we're on? I don't know. She might have thought I wasn't going to do a stream. She may, and they may be busy, so she may, they may not be able to, but if you wouldn't mind messaging them, I would appreciate it. Oh, wow. Everybody, no one has any water, is that what you're saying? Edna, and then no one has any water? Oh, no. Power or water? Oh, wow. Well, we'll all keep everyone in our prayers and our thoughts and prayers. You know, positive thinking does work, everyone. So for those of us that sometimes think it doesn't, it does. Okay, so I have, so far I have my little envelope. I have my diamond jewel, which was just a diamond ring that I cut the... I cut the bottom off and I glued it down on the, to a... It moved. Oh, you guys, I'm telling you, today I've had a day. Today, I am like, I woke up, I was, I went to bed fairly early out of necessity because I was so tired. And then I have been up every morning, like really early. And then today, my three hour hike, which was great because I loved hanging out with my friend, but I'm sorry, guys, I'm going to cut the, the cardboard off so that it doesn't hang over. Now, these, some of these need a dimensional glaze on it. Like, I think I would definitely may trim this one a little bit more and then add some fingernail polish or dimensional glaze or something on it because it's a, or maybe even some glitter. If you guys had some glitter. All right, so we have those. We have three so far. Um... This one, I'm going to glue the paper down on the inside. 
Oh, Kayla, I'm so glad that everything's well with you guys. I, I was really worried, you know, for all of you. My, I ta my sister actually lives in the Carolinas, and I was talking to her briefly yesterday, and she lives in a very wooded area, and they got high enough winds where she lives that the trees were down. Like, she couldn't, she has to, she had to get outside and with her, with her son and, and a friend, and they, because her husband's away, he, he goes, he works, he goes away on business every week, he works out and about in the field, but she and my nephew were out there, um, moving trees. She said it was, it was ridiculous, you know, the amount of trees that they had to, that had, she couldn't get out because they'd fallen and crossed her driveway. She told me she got them, took her three or four people and they dragged them to the side. And now she can drive in and out of her yard, but she said it was a big mess. I said, well, thank goodness it didn't fall on your Oh, you have to throw out everything because of your electric? Oh, Carla, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's just, it's so awful. Susan's working. Okay, Scotty. I just didn't want her to think, because I had talked with her yesterday, and I wasn't sure if I was going to, um, if I was going to, um, do this, and I just didn't want it, because I usually message her, that's all, not because, not because I, I, I demand her presence, but I just don't want her to think, okay, thanks, Fee, I just wanted to make sure that they knew, because yesterday, you know, Susan said to me, maybe you shouldn't do tomorrow if you have, because I, you know, when you have company, it can be a little stressful. So I just didn't want her to think, you know, that I wasn't, I was just trying to be a little bit mindful, you guys. A little bit mindful. That's all. You know what I might do is I might do another book page. And put the clip through it. Thanks, Scotty. Thank you. So are you guys getting ready to go to Shannon Green and Rosemary Morris's? For those of you that are Arkansas, Arkansas, my Arkansas ladies, are you guys getting ready to go to Shannon Green and Rosemary Morris's workshop? I am so excited to see what you guys create and I can't wait to see I can't wait to see what happens what you guys come back and Show us the pictures of what you've made. The project that I've seen so far looks so fabulous. I can't even imagine. Are you super excited? It's Vicki and Scotty that are going, yeah? Anybody else? Anyone else going to the workshop? You guys are going to have so much fun. You wish you were going, Ann? I wish I was going, too. You wish you were going? Oh, I wish I was going too. Yeah, I saw some pictures of Key West. Did you guys see Cuba? Cuba is bad too. And then the earthquake in Mexico. It's just been like one thing after another, right? It's been awful. It has not been good. So now we have, we'll have four in just a second. Now, how many of you guys make tabs for your journals and your planners? I'm sort of obsessed with them. I really enjoy the, I really enjoy them. So I like tabs and tags. I don't know why, but I'm a little, like them a lot. So, this is just a hand-painted tab made from painty papers. 
and you just have to just have to let them you know cure enough so now we have we have four 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 things one tab One tab, one tab, one inchy, one diamond, one envelope. Let me look in my magazine and see what else I have. I have a bunch more inchies. I guess I could make a bunch of inchy ones. Oh, Bet's babysitting. Will you tell Bet I love her, please? I just didn't know, you know, like I had mentioned yesterday that I made, that I had company and just, I just didn't want them to think that I was uh, forgetting them. Usually I message her, but I, you guys, I drove home. I came home in enough time to make myself a cup of coffee and to get online with you guys. Okay, so when I'm looking for paper clips, when I'm looking for things for paper clip embellishments in here, I decide a couple of things. Like this would be a cool one if I wanted to just cut it out as a tab or cut it out as a, um, here, let's see. Let's see, I could cut it out a couple of different ways. I could cut it out as a circle, so I would have this beautiful sparkly blue as a paperclip embellishment like this. Or with my new tab punch that I love uh, right here. Hi Jennifer, how are you? We're happy to see you. I've met, we've all missed you too. We're happy you're all here together. You know, I'm, I'm grateful for your friendship ladies and I'm grateful and just so happy to see. I like the tabs too, Vicki. I'm like obsessed with them. It's ridiculous. I have a bunch of tab, uh, not punches, but um, dies. I like tags and tabs. I'm obsessed with both of them, okay? So, like, look, I don't know how many of you guys like to make tags or tabs for your journals, but you can make them out of all kinds of stuff. I like, and these will make cool ones, and they're just out of a magazine page, right? And you can go back and do that. So I look for stuff like that. And then I also... I'll also cut out for the outside part of it. I'll cut out my pasta box. Well, I say I will, maybe I won't. Oh, it worked. You know, you guys can also do flowers. If any of anybody makes those paper flowers that I've shown you guys a million times out how to make them out of the circles, you can make those and make those embellishments too. I wish I was going, you guys. I really do. I wish I, I should have planned once I saw they were having a workshop, I should have planned something so that I could have gone. But I wasn't that good, you guys. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking. You're in Little Rock, Kayla? How far is that from the, from the workshop? How far is that from you, Scotty? I wish I was going, you guys. Sophie, tell her we love her too. I love my bet and Susan. Okay. So this one's going to be a really cool little tab just from a magazine page. And if Laurel would hear it was here, this would be right up her alley because it's purple. Purple Laurel, purple, purple for Laurel. Now I may pay, cut a paper to go inside. Hmm. Little Rock is, is three hours for me. That's not totally terrible.
So tell me what you guys have on your crafty wish list. This I, I've got. I have a bunch of journals in process that I should have worked on this week that I haven't. Has anybody else have that sort of stuff going on? I like journals that I have in process that I was like, oh, I'm gonna really get to do that. And didn't. I have some journals. I have some. You guys have all kinds of stuff. My space is, I've almost finished, I didn't get to spend as much time on it as I would have liked to, but I've almost finished my calamari for my space. So once I finish my calamari, I'll show you guys. I will show you guys the other end of my calamari, the finished product, but I think I'm going to wait till my friend leaves before I... Oh, there's one spot left. That sounds like fun. I wish it was me that was going to be able to take that spot. I would love it. But it just isn't going to happen for me, ladies. Not living all the way in Hawaii. I think it sounds like a fun day. I don't think you have to bring anything, do you, Scotty? Isn't everything included in the workshop? At least that was my understanding. Am I wrong? Wasn't everything included? I would totally be gone. If I could go, I would be right there. I would so be right there. I would love it. Just to spend the day with you guys? Oh my gosh, that would be like so fun. And Shannon and Rosemary, two people that I think are fabulous. Totally, I would love it. It would be exciting. I would be so excited. So excited. Aren't they making some kind of a journal? You made feathers yesterday. I saw some. I saw the feathers you made. They were awesome. You guys are making some really amazing feathers. My feathers are not as good as your feathers. You guys are out feathering me. That's for sure. And I just want to glue down my paper clip on the inside. I think, you know, I think you guys are going to have so much fun. I can't wait to see the pictures of you guys all laughing together with Shannon and Rosemary. So don't forget to take your camera, Scotty and Miss VA, and uh, take some pictures. I, I can't wait and post them in our group. And post them in our group. It'll be awesome. Who would want to leave that party? I know, right? It takes you a long time to make those feathers. You know what, Anne? You just got to do it when you feel like... For me, I mean, it can take a while, but you know what I love about them is that I just can make them when I'm not thinking about it. You know, I can just... I can sit and I can make them when I'm not thinking about it. I can just hang out and make them and... Okay, so now I have a magazine tab. I have a magazine tab. I have an in sheet. I have a I have an envelope and I have my my diamond. So what I do when I'm looking for stuff in my for my embellishments, I go through magazines and just flip through until I find something that sticks out that jumps out at me. Guys, I'm having Cuban coffee. My friend just came from Havana. My friend visiting me. Got me some Cuban coffee. Oh my gosh, it is the bomb. Um, so what I do is I just look through here. I mean, if you want patterns, you've got all kinds of patterns in here, but I just usually look for like specific things. Like maybe I would make this lipstick an embellishment. I like I make quirky things, you guys. I'm not the normal paper clip embellisher. Um there's lots of good background embellishments though.
You guys are going to have so much fun. Sometimes I look for um, like cameras, watches. I look for big bling that I can cut up. I look for sunglasses, shoes. I've made tons of shoes. Eyes. Sometimes I make eyeball embellishment. Handbags sometimes. Like these sunglasses are a little bit small, but those might be good if I cut them off. Just the sunglass part. Like these. These would make embellishments like this. So this is what I do. But you guys, there's no right or wrong. It's up to you and what you want to do. You can also make like flower ones too. You know those little punch flowers that I make? I make them out of that too. Like sometimes I would make the watch face one. You could make the whole watch or you could just take the watch face and make one. And some of these pages are cool. Like I love this one. This is a great page. That would be great for a journal. You guys are going to have so much fun. I think it's going to be like one of the best memories you've made. You're going to look back and go, I am so glad that I went and hung out with Rosemary and Shannon. And you're going to come back making really cool journals. I think they're making a journal, if I remember. I saw the video that she posted of the project you're going to make. So it looks really fun. And I think you guys are going to have such a great time. Now, if you have a... Uh, if you have some like shop like magazines where people are selling stuff, a lot of times that'll have really like perfect imp size images for um, perfect size images for embellishments. You know, especially if it's like a catalog that has uh, you know shoes and stuff like that. They make really good ones. Well, I think I might have enough just to start a few more. Then I can make a flower one. Some of these are really, some of the pictures are really nice. I want to use them for a face journal. I think that's why I got, I got that magazine. So I'm going to use this watch. I'm just going to cut the watch. That's going to be one of my embellishments. And the watch face on this, just the watch face. I don't think I'm going to think I'm going to do the whole. And then the stones in this ring. I'm going to cut those out and then I think the lipstick. There's two lipsticks, so maybe Maybe this one, maybe both of them. I mean, obviously, you know, you want to be able to have, you know, I like making whimsical things, but if you wanted to make it more serious, you could, you know, use anything that you have for paper clip embellishment. It doesn't have to be this. Hi, Tammy. So... I would definitely fussy cut it some, but they don't have to be perfect because I'll show you why. Let me just get it. Let me cut it down a little bit. Fussy cut it a little bit, not not totally. So I want to hear what do you guys, What are you guys working on? I want to hear. I mean, what, what are, what is like, what's your, what's, what are you guys thinking about and what are you working on for, are you doing journals, are you making cards, are you making, what, what are you girls up for, what are you doing? You're buffering, Carrie. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't done anything. Carla, are your streams getting better? I know you were like having a moment with your buffering and different things, but 
When I watched, I didn't get to watch live, but I watched the video the other day. It didn't seem, it wasn't bad for me. I didn't watch it the whole time I listened because I think I was crafting or I was cleaning or I was doing something. Fishing tackle. I saw your bracelet, Scotty. It was awesome. My dad was a huge fisherman, too. I love what you do with your bracelet. I loved it. Loved it. Thought it was a brilliant idea. Because I've been a jeweler for a long time, and I don't even wear jewelry. Isn't that terrible? I've been, jeweler, I've been a jeweler for a long time and don't wear jewelry. So, I'm going to wear this little bracelet one of my kids gave me, but I don't really wear anything else. I mean, I guess occasionally I do. Your internet seems to be a little bit better, but it's the recordings are not great. Mm hmm. Yeah, it sounds like it's your internet. It really does because your recordings were perfect when you were before you moved. So it sounds like it's your internet provider or your internet. I don't know what you can do about that. Do they offer more than one internet provider? See where I live, you get one, and that's it. Unless you get a satellite dish. You know, Ash, I haven't finished doing the Recycle Bank thing. You have to, like, answer all the questions. I did some of them, but I didn't finish it. I have to finish a few more questions to get my magazines. If you guys don't know about that, if you go over to Crafting Mamas, our Facebook group, Ash put a post in there about how to receive free magazines because so many people ask. Now, I don't know if they ship international, so I know somebody's going to ask me that, and that I don't know. Do you know if they ship internationally, or is it U.S. only, Ash? Or do they have a, or do they have a, a whole separate thing for international? They may. Okay, so what I do first is after I've fussy cut some of it, I guess let me do the watch. Maybe I'll just do the face on the watch and not the whole watch. I glue them down to I glue them down to cardboard the packaging that we have. Okay, so that's what I do. What's cool about it is if you like were sitting and fussy cutting one day and you just didn't have a chance to like go for it and put them all down. If you glue it, if you took a glue stick and you glued it onto some cardboard, then it wouldn't be such a big deal because you would, you know, you'd find them rather than sometimes if you, especially if they're for, if you're doing them specifically for embellishments, if you're just doing them to create some sort of stock that might be, you know, it doesn't really matter. So then I just go and I start gluing them down to the, the brown side of the inside of the box. U.S. only? Hmm. Oh, Carla, I'm sorry. I know it must be frustrating. I think it must, it would drive you, it drives you crazy because here you are trying to get yourself all doing all your stuff and it's like the internet's not cooperating. So for those of you that don't have any punches, this works amazing. Okay. This is how you can make them without any punches at all. You just, you need to leave a little space between each one as you glue them down. And then you let them dry, and then you're going to cut around these. Now generally when I make magazine ones, I add some sort of like either fingernail polish, or I add some sort of uh, diamond glaze, or stickles, or whatever type of dimensional glaze that you like best. It doesn't matter, Mod Podge has one. Um, Mod Podge has a dimensional glaze. What else? Who else has one, you guys? Mod, Mod Podge. Um, I'm sure Joanne's must have something. Martha Stewart has a jewelry one that works. 
Obstacles Diamond Glaze. You could also use fingernail polish. Cheap, clear fingernail polish. Okay. And then here's another one of my little stones. What's fun is if you do these is that you as you start making um, fun embellishments that you can then just put anywhere. You can use them just about anywhere. In your planners, in your journals. This one's not sticking. That glue stick. Yes, my still my favorite glue stick is the Elmer's Extreme or Uhu. But I got over here with neither one. I'm just going to burnish it down with my glue top. Top of my glue. Okay, let's see. Here's one lipstick and here's another lipstick. I'm going to cut this one out a little bit more. If you have clear fingernail polish, I just think it works. Generally with a paperclip embellishment, if you're going to use a magazine, it you know, you're touching it with your fingers all the time. So... It just adds a little protective coating. It's not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. What's kind of fun is like, say you're making a journal and you wanted to put, I don't know, airplanes or stuff that you can find in the magazine. You can you can add all sorts of things to it. You know, stuff that maybe you wouldn't normally add or find if you were gonna, um, you know, make it custom fish or whatever. You can also do your own drawings and make them into paperclip embellishments. You don't have to just cut them out of magazines, but I just enjoy this. I enjoy the process. I enjoy the whole thing. I enjoy... I just find it fun. That's just where I'm at, though. You guys, do what works for you. No rules. Do what works for you. But... The lipstick one. Do what works for you. I'm gonna try this glue instead. You can share what you guys share. Share whatever you share, of course share. Yes, matte medium works good too. Most people just don't have matte medium. And sometimes it can be a little bit more expensive than, say, a $1 bottle of fingernail polish from the dollar store, right? That diamond glaze is not cheap, but it works really well, and it lasts a really long time. Now, sometimes I'll just leave it like this until I'm ready to cut it up and make something. Somebody wanted stamps. What kind of stamps? Like, post like used postage stamps or plastic or, like, stamping? You're crocheting a blanket and you're making a vintage sewing journal, Carrie. Oh, that's awesome. Halloween tags. Oh, fun. You guys are making some rockin' Halloween tags. I loved it. I still loved what you guys are making. You can't find diamond glaze? Carly, you know what? I bought mine on Amazon. I bought, I couldn't find it here, here as well, but I bought it on Amazon. I don't know if you, if you can't find it, buy stickles. It works. The kind of stamps you use to make cards on. Oh, like rubber stamps? Is that what you're talking about? Um, I think, so. I think it was, Amberly wanted some Christmas stamps. That's what she was looking for. She was looking for some Christmas stamps. Um, I don't I don't remember. Somebody else could have been asking for stamps. The fish stamps are fantastic. What are they fish stamps from what? From Michaels? Yeah, Mod Podge has what yes, Edna Edna's right. Mod Podge 3D Dimensional Magic is, is similar to Diamond Glaze, I think. Uh, 
And I put my diamond glaze on Amazon. You guys, I can't get much of anything here, so I have to buy whatever I buy. It has to come from, like, something like that. You know, it's like the craft stores here. We have one craft store, and it's really more a floral store. Like, they sell, you know, silk flowers and that sort of thing. As far as, like, paper crafting stuff, it's very limited. They do have glue. But they don't have any sort of, they don't think they have stickles. And they definitely don't have any of the new glues that people like to use. They don't have that. So, I just go with it. I don't even think about it anymore. If I can get it on Amazon Prime, I do. Okay, so for those of you that want to, like, do some unusual shapes, cut them out of your cardboard. You're going to cut two pieces out, okay? You're going to cut... You're going to cut whatever you're going to do out of cardboard. It, this one is definitely fussy cutting. But if you wanted to make somebody like a journal, like there's all kinds of really sweet cat and dog images and magazines. And I made some, a friend of mine's daughter, a way, way a while back, a journal, and I cut out all the cats and dogs, and I made her a bunch of paper clips embellishments from that. And when I added the diamond glaze on it or any sort of fingernail polish or whatever, it just made them last longer. And then her mom sent me a note and told me she took them. She was in the third grade, and she told me she took them for her, for her school planner. Like, she took out some of the dogs and cats for her school planner, and the, and the teacher asked her where she got them, and she said that her friend made them. And so my friend said, would you send her teacher the instructions on how to make them? So I did, and they which is nothing, which is what I'm showing you guys right here. And they made them for their class. So, okay, so here you have your lipstick. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to trace your lipstick. You have a pen. You're going to want to, instead of, you're going to want to flip it over, because you don't, unless you don't mind if it has a Barilla Pasta thing on the back. And uh, you're going to just trace it out and you're going to cut out another piece. Guys, why is my pen not writing? Okay, and then you're just going to cut out this piece, and this is going to be your second piece. You may have to trim a little bit more off of it because it's going to be a little bit bigger, and you don't want it to stick out behind the back of your paper clip, but you just, just cut it out. It does take a little fussy cutting, but that's just basically all there is to it. You're going to put your paper clip through the back of it, glue it down just like you did everything else, and then you're done. Well, you got to let it dry, but other than that, and then put your diamond glaze on it or your stickles or whatever you're going to do. So. This is the, this is it. That is all there is to it. And I just want to see if it, how much I have to trim off. I have to trim a little bit more because I don't want to see the blue. So I just want to trim it just a little bit more. And that's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. And then just notch it. I'm just going to glue it on the back and then I'm done. I just have to decide where I want my paper clip, but I'm going to want mine, I think, probably a little bit further down the end or sort of like down here so that I can slide it on a page. I'm going to use my smaller paper clips and I'm going to put the fat 
the skinny part on the inside. And the fat part on the outside because the fat part is going to be the part that clips or the longer of the two pieces and then I'm going to glue it together and then it's done. It just has to dry. Hi Beth! We're just making paper clip embellishments. Nothing that exciting. Nothing that exciting. Nothing that exciting. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So That is it. It just needs to dry and then put some diamond glaze on it. And there you have your paper clip embellishment that looks like it. <laughs> How can I say it's not exciting? I don't know. What did I tell you guys? Oh, we're going to make washi tape on Friday, Lisa. Who asked for washi tape? Was it you, Amberly? So if you want to make some washi tape, get some masking tape some either some you need something for to the because you're going to peel it off so you need masking tape and like some uh wax paper bring your painty papers you can do it with double stick tape or mod podge or white glue if you have carpet tape we could do some with that um if you want to make fabric washi just bring some strips of fabric you know some pieces of fabric and that's really it. Some glue. I mean, if you want to make your own custom washi, if you want to stamp on it or paint on it, you need either painty papers or you need to... I can do it from start to finish, or you can just use the painty papers that you've made. Okay, so this one's going to be paper clip embellishment too. So this is what we have so far. We have... We have the Inchi, the Diamond... The two, with my mess over. We have the inchy, the diamond, the two paper, the two tabs, and then we have the lipstick. That's what we have so far. And then I have a few more to work on. Oh my gosh, you guys, today was so, I don't know. If you want to make a long, Carla always makes stuff with fish, Carrie. Um, you could use the blue stuff, but then your washi tape is going to be blue. I'm talking about, I don't have a roll in front of me. You know the plane that sort of, that sort of, um, you can do it a couple ways, Amberly. You can do it where you just get the cheap, Oh, I can't wait to see your painting papers. You just, you can use the cheap masking tape that you find at like the hardware store. Now it's my coffee, Edna, I need to drink coffee. The, the cheap one that you find at the, at the hardware store, which is like, um, you could do it with the blue and the painter's tape, that sort of stuff, or you can just get the, the, the plain sort of, you know, manila colored one. That one's good because I've used alcohol inks on it, I've painted on it, and it works amazing. Vanilla or off-white color, right, Beth? Oh, you're so lucky, Scotty. We'll miss you on Friday, but you're going to come back and tell us all the amazing things that you did. I know you are. Um, so you can use that, and I've painted it with all sorts of things. Alcohol inks, um... Everything you can imagine, I've painted the regular masking tape with. Um, you can use, the thing is, is whatever you use, you have to be able to peel up, and it needs to be thick enough. So I find that masking tape works better. Duct tape I haven't tried. Um, Double-sided carpet tape works good. If you're going to, 
make fabric tape, you just need, if you're going to make fabric tape, you need to, you can you either need to use carpet tape, this double stick, right? Or you need to use a heavier, a, night, a, a better quality masking tape because you're going to use your glue to glue it down. Does that make sense? And I can drink coffee anytime. And I love a really good cup of coffee. This is, my friend bought me a huge bag of Cuban coffee. And I have to tell you, I'm enjoying it so much. She told me that I'm the most ridiculous. She said, I've never seen somebody so excited for coffee. It's really good. Well, I don't drink anything anymore. I drink iced tea, coffee, water, sometimes a smoothie, sometimes juice. But other than that, I really don't drink much. I mean, of anything. I used to love a good glass of red wine, but it just doesn't sit well with me anymore. It doesn't, it doesn't make me feel good, so I don't drink it. I don't know whether it's the wine itself or it's the tannins in it or, you know, how they put all kinds of chemicals and stuff without us knowing it. So I don't really drink anything. Iced tea. I don't really have soda. Occasionally, my daughter would love to root beer, so occasionally I'll have a root beer with her. But other than that, I don't do anything. Night, Carla! Are you going to bed? I can totally relate. Alright girls, who want, uh, these are what I have left to make and I'm going to have to get some, I'm going to have to get my diamond glaze out, but I'm wanting them to dry first. Now if you want eyeballs, especially if you're making Halloween journals, you have all those fashion magazines with eyeballs in it. They make really cool paper clip embellishments. Coffee and water for you, Edna. I, I love coffee. My friend said I should try to give it up. I thought, you know, I, really, I like green tea. I, I drink a lot of green tea. Well, I have I try to drink at least one cup. The other thing I drink is apple cider vinegar tea. Have you guys ever had that? Carla, I'm tired too. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's something in the air. I can totally relate. Yeah, we're going to make homemade washi tape on Friday. So really all you need is some, some glue, some sort of tape to stick it to. You do need a masking tape. You do need something to put it down to. So you either need a wax paper sheet or some sort of, like if you've ever used contact paper, save the back of the contact paper sheets. That's always good to stick your washi tape down to. Something that you can pull it back up off of. Okay, my lovelies, how about we do a little breathing and... I'm going to call it an early night. Will that be okay with you guys? I'm just, I'm fading and I'm just tired. I'm, I'm just having a tired day. Would that be okay if we do a little, if we do a little woo-woo and then call it a day? Seeing as I wasn't even sure if I was going to have today just because of, I should know better than to go on a, a three-hour hike. Hi, Frida. Okay, my lovelies, for those of you that would like a little boost for your rela a little boost in relaxation for your evening, find a comfortable spot and put your feet on the floor. For those that want to participate, just say yes. It's just conscious consent, conscious consent for you, and those that don't, just say no, and the energy won't come to you. Okay. So sit with your feet flat on the floor, or lie down, or anywhere that you can be comfortable, and close your eyes. I want you to allow yourself to be in your beautiful column of light. This is your column of light. It belongs only to you. And allow this column of light to surround you six feet in all directions. Feel it growing and growing and growing. And if you look up, you can't see the top. And when you look down, you can't see the bottom. This is your column of light, your safety zone, your energy, only yours. Feel your column of light going deep, 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 deep into the earth and allow it to grow tree roots once it gets down there. I want you to 
Breathe in the beautiful golden earth energy from beneath your feet. Breathe it into your column of light. Feel it coming up around your roots. Breathe it in. And breathe it in. Feel it filling your feet, ankles, calves, knees, thighs, hips. Feel it filling the base of your spine. Feel it filling your lower abdomen, in your solar plexus, near your navel. Feel it filling your heart. Feel it filling your, the back, your whole back, filling up in your spine. Feel it running down your shoulders, your upper arms, elbows, lower arms, wrists, and out of your finger. Ready? Breathe it in. Feel it filling your throat. And feel it filling your face. And feel it fountaining out the top of your head. Ready? Breathe it in. And breathe it in. And breathe it in. Feel your connection to the earth. Allow your attention to rise up above your head and call in the beautiful angelic, cosmic, heavenly energy to the top of your head. I like to envision this as silvery diamond light, but you can see, feel, think, or know it any way you'd like. Breathe it in the top of your head. Feel it filling your whole head, in your face, in your neck. Running down your shoulders, your upper arms, elbows, lower arms, wrists, and out every finger. Feel it filling your chest, and your heart. Feel it filling your solar plexus, which is located in your waist. Feel it filling your lower abdomen. And feel it running out the base of your spine and out your hips, thighs, knees, calves, ankles, and out the bottom of your feet. Ready? Breathe it in. And breathe it in. And one more time. Breathe it in. Now focus on your heart. You know, you to receive the love and anything else that you need right now to support you in your life. I want you to breathe this energy in. Ready? Breathe it in. And exhale anything that's not working for you. And breathe it in. And exhale. And breathe in. Breathe in love. Peace, calm, abundance, joy, relaxation. Ready? Breathe it in. And release anything that's not working for you. Let it go. And one more time. Breathe in what you need. And let go of anything else. And one last time, breathe in, breathe in the energy that you feel you need for yourself at this moment. Ready? Breathe it in. And exhale anything that's not working for you. Release overthinking. Release stress. Release anger. Release irritability. Release anything that's not working for you. Breathe in what you need. And let go of anything else. All right, tell me how you ladies are feeling. Tell me what you feel, see, think, or know.
feel calm, you can feel peace, you can feel... Now, everybody's going to be a little bit different. Oh, very good, Vicki. Vicki says she feels like a feather floating. Very nice. Randy, I do too. I, I'm, I'm doing it with you. I'm, as I'm doing it with you and sending you love and energy, I'm doing it for myself. You're welcome, Brandy. I needed it too. Just a little tired today. Grounded and calm. Oh, good, Ash. Now, remember, you can always go back to this, the last few minutes of this energy on this YouTube video and it will always be there so you can go back and listen to it again if you need it. I would be releasing Irma too, Beth. It was stressful for everyone. Good night, Laura. I hope you sleep well. Okay, ladies, close your eyes one more time. I'm just going to send you lots of love and for you, for you to have a peaceful, wonderful, resilient week. Ready? Close your eyes and receive the love. And on the exhale, give back the love to everyone in this group. Receive the love. And give the love. And receive the love. And give the love. And one more time, receive the love. And give the love. And the sometimes people see colors. Um, you know, it's significant for you. You know, it's awesome that you, you know, sometimes when you close your eyes and people put themselves in or allow themselves to relax and be in a, a meditative state, they see all kinds of colors. Sometimes they see rainbows and, you know, it just depends. Like, all different colors. Um, there's no right or wrong. We're all individual. You know, it's like, uh, you know, like when you cook a meal, you really can't make it taste the same every way, every time. So we're all like that. We're all just a different flavor of the same light. So for each one of us, it's going to be just a little different. And there's no right or wrong. The, the only thing you need to know is, does it make you feel better? If it makes you feel better, then it's perfect for you. If you need to release more, then open your heart up and allow the window to open and just let out that energy. There's no right or wrong. There's no, no one's better or worse than anyone else. It's just all in your own subjective experience. So, you know, I see things that many people don't see, but that doesn't make what you see different or wrong or mine right. You know, it just, it's just all what works for you. Well, my lovelies, I love you guys so much. And please head on over to our Facebook group if you haven't joined Crafting Mamas and join us. You're all welcome. Please post whatever you're making. I always enjoy seeing it. I'll try to start posting my pictures. I don't always post them because I figure most of you guys are here on the stream, but somebody kind of pointed out to me that we have a lot more members than actually uh, participate So, in the stream. Oh, Brandy. You know, go back and listen to it again. Let's all open our window for anybody that wants a little extra boost to let go of something that maybe you don't even know. Maybe it's just the stress of the storm or stress of having to let go of, of whatever it is, your job, boyfriend, husband, children, anxiety, things that come up, you know, stuff comes up all day. And we're always as women barraging ourselves and just doing more and more and more. Image a window in your chest. It could be any type of window. There's no right or wrong and open it up. I want you to inhale what works for you. And on the exhale, I want you to see out See, leaving your chest, any energy, I like to look at, think of, think of it like smoke, but you can think of it however it works for you. Ready? Open your window, breathe in what you need, and let out, let it all out. And breathe it in, and let it out.
and breathe it in. Open your window and let it out. Now you can keep this state going for as long as you want. You can leave your window open all day long and give your body personality permission to release anything that's not working for you. You can tell your body personality, I'm leaving my window open. Now I'm going to let out anything that's not working for me. And I don't even have to be conscious of what it is. I'm going to breathe in every inhale as I'm only going to breathe in love. And every exhale, I'm just going to let go of what isn't working for me. Oh, Kayla, that's so sweet. Mahalo nui loi to you too. Oh, I love you ladies. You have no idea how much I appreciate your friendship, your camaraderie, your fellowship, your love and support. And I really appreciate seeing the love and support you're sending to each and every one of our members in our group and for those that aren't members in our group, for those that join us here in the live streams. Just know, as always from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you guys so, so, so much of love. Always, 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 with so much love. Mahalo nui loa keala, which means thank you from my heart. Keala va tinihana kahuiho. Kahuiho until we see each other again. Love you, ladies. I hope you have a crafty week. Post what you're doing and let me know. I'm always available on Facebook. I'm glad I'm here with you, ladies. You have no idea. I'm so grateful for you in my life. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. See you guys on Friday, and we will make washi tape, okay? All right. Love. Love, love, love you girls. Have a wonderful week. Blessings to all of you.